Welcome to uh, the Catholic United Financial Heritage Center. I don't know if this is the first time that you've ever been in here, but it's a joy to be able to have you here and to uh, share with you some of the history of Catholic United Financial, the legendary history of our organization. Well, it's good to be here. Thank you, Mike. You know, as I looked around this space, uh, I couldn't help but be drawn back to one of the many things that we have in common, and that is the rich history and tradition of our two societies. Uh, Catholic financial life grew out of the Catholic Knights, Catholic Family, Union St. John Baptiste tradition, and many of the artifacts that you have here in your Heritage Center, uh, we too have in Milwaukee representing the many organizations that have come together over the years to form who we are. Well, in our 146 years, we've had a merger as well with a fellow fraternal society in Minnesota, changed our name a few times to be a little bit uh, more reflective of who we are as, as an organization, that being Catholic United Financial 14 years ago. So certainly the history of Catholic United Financial is one that we're very, very proud of. And certainly we start to learn more about the history of trusted fraternal life and the history of Catholic financial life as well. Uh, it goes to show how much we are aligned in terms of uh, what our organizations have been and uh, what we can mean to each other as we join together. I couldn't agree more, Mike. You know, and, and speaking of history, as we are here in the center, you know, I see things dating back to the 1800s. We trace our roots back to the first fraternals in the United States. Well, it certainly is an honor and a privilege to talk about the prospect of joining the Trusted Fraternal Life family of brands, Catholic United Financial, and I believe our membership and certainly our delegates and our associates here uh, are very, very positive about the opportunity to be able to join the family. Uh, we're going to be able to grow all the things of our organizations, our legendary organizations, and certainly advancing the Fraternal Benefit Society movement. We said, you know, it's our past. We've talked about so many things that we have in common, but it's also really our present and, and God willing, you know, our future. If you think about it, you know, our predecessors worked very closely together. Uh, they're the ones who conceived of Conventus now. Uh, we were a part of it, of course, yeah. as part of the leadership team, but uh, now, you know, we serve together on the board of the American Fraternal Alliance, and, and now the prospect of, of welcoming Catholic United to the family of brands. I think you've said it before, and, and I couldn't agree more. It just makes sense on so many different levels. Yeah, and it, the alignment that we've seen, not just amongst our executives, but certainly the employees and leaders that have brought Conventus together five plus years ago, it's been an amazing experience just to be able to talk about how we could build this platform, this technology to attract new members to our organization. Uh, but the biggest benefit of that, I think, is just seeing how closely aligned we are in terms of the way we see the world, our industry, uh, and the way we, we see growing an organization. Uh, we've, I know our employees, I can speak on behalf of them, that very, very much enjoyed working with the folks at Catholic Financial Life, now Trusted Fraternal Life, and uh, we're all pretty proud of the things that we built together. There are some organizations where they just put pretty words on a wall and they tout them as their mission, their vision, their values. But in the case of Catholic United Financial and Catholic Financial Life, now Trusted Fraternal Life, they're not just words. They mean something. They're very dear and, and central to who we are. Those things that we hold true in all that we do, things like faith and integrity and not only just practicing, but living the golden rule, taking care of our brothers and sisters. These are the things that we have in common. And that's one of the many reasons I am so confident in our success for the future. Our cultures are very much aligned. Very much so, very much so I agree. And certainly it'll, it'll help us tremendously as we continue to work to be able to grow our brands, you know, the brands of this family of brands, you know, Catholic Financial Life and of course Catholic United Financial as well. But I know you also share a lot with me, not just in terms of the organizations we work for, but the roots that you have and the, the place where I've grown up and in, in spent my entire life, which is Minnesota. Um, tell me a little bit more about how this is exciting for you, having us join your family and what this means in terms of the connections you've got to our fine state. Well, my, uh, my story um, is not all that different than the story of many of the members of your organization. Uh, I'm a fourth generation member. My great grandfather was a signator to one of the first chapters of what was then Catholic Knights. My wife and I, we have three boys, they're fifth generation members. And so I grew up in the fraternal system. I grew up with Catholic Knights and then Catholic financial life. I had the opportunity to serve as a delegate at a convention. So this is all very familiar and real to me and a part of, a part of who I am. 
Uh, my connections to Minnesota, uh, I call it my second home because it's the place outside of, of Wisconsin that I've spent the, the second most amount of time. Uh, I am a proud alumnus of St. John's University, a 2001 graduate. So I was there from 97 to 01. And my closest friends to this day reside in the Twin Cities. Were it not for the fact that the organization I lead is now headquartered in Milwaukee, yeah. Uh, and that, that we have family ties in, in southeastern Wisconsin. Were it not for those two reasons, I would probably be calling Minnesota home. I love it here. I think the people who, uh, who know and love Catholic United Financial will, will really enjoy the opportunity to be able to get to know you more and more as the years, uh, as the years ahead come to us. Well, Mike, once again, thank you for the opportunity for having me, uh, allowing to join you here in your Heritage Center, at your home office in Arden Hills. It's been my pleasure getting to share a few words, talking about the past and, and perhaps more exciting, even envisioning the future that we can have together. I look forward to being with you uh, up here in Minnesota in just a couple of, a couple of weeks. Yeah, well, it's been a pleasure having you here. Uh, I've enjoyed all the times that you've come to our home office here and all the work that we've done over so many years. It's a little more special this time, you know, have, having this history of our organization behind us and being able to reflect on, on that history as we think as well about what that next chapter in our story can be. Uh, and I, I really look forward to the opportunity to have that chapter be with you mm -hmm. because uh, I, I believe in what we're doing. Uh, I believe in the future of Fraternal Model, and I certainly believe in the respective brands that we hold so dear. And uh, it'll be a very big, big and bright future for both of us. Mm -hmm. So thanks for being here. It's been great. Thank you, Mike.